Caddies, sir. That one's a troublemaker. Caddies. We'll have to keep a closer eye on him. I'm, I'm going to go give him a piece of my mind! That one. <laughs> All right, we'll be back for you prisoners in a minute. There was a time long ago, though none now live who remember, when kings were noble and our kingdom was blessed with peace and prosperity. Our harvest was plentiful. We lived long and we were free. Those days have receded into past memories. Now the empire has taken our land and enforces peace with troops and decrees. Peace has come at the price of our liberty. The emperor has stripped our people of their passion and vitality. Despair and hopelessness have choked out the life of the people. But now, rumors of prophecies long forgotten have begun to provide glimpses of light in the overwhelming darkness. Ancient scrolls lost over centuries have been unearthed and translated from the native tongue of our forefathers. Prophecies that whisper of a deliverer who would vanquish our oppressors and restore the blessings of liberty. As the shadow of tyranny lengthens across the land, news has spread that the Deliverer may be among us already, spreading rays of hope in the settling darkness. The Emperor is not amused. He has sought to discover and destroy the Deliverer whom he calls the Insurrectionist. The Emperor's troops have intimidated, questioned, and harassed our people to demand information that will lead to the arrest of the Deliverer and any who follow him. Something must be done. The time has come to decide. Will we succumb to the intimidation of the Emperor, or will we choose the Deliverer? Will we hide or help? As tensions increase, it has become more and more difficult to avoid this choice. In the midst of this oppression, the Emperor has discovered that there are those among us who are willing to die so that others may live. Though he has invaded our homes, intimidated our families, and restricted our liberties, hope remains. Some of us have been detained for questioning and are now being held in this prison. What answer will we give the Emperor? Will we fight for our liberty and be willing to die trying? If we are wise, we will not give up. We must not give up until we, our families, and our future have been unchanged. Whereabouts will be treated 
as high treason the emperor, a crime punishable by death. We don't know the whereabouts of this leader. I relinquish this insurrectionist and any who follow his traitorous ways. But we'd be forced to hold you here at this behavior learning center for acquiescence to the Empire. Since you still claim ignorance, we will be obligated to engage your services to collect information that will lead to his arrest. Look at all of you loyal citizens. I'm sure one of you must know something. How about that intelligent looking fellow right here? Not him, the one behind him. Do you know anything? You look like you know something. Do you know anything? Stop it! How about this lovely lady here in the front row? Do you? Do you know anything about this Don't insurrection? Don't know anything? Stories, whereabouts? Shelby, you know something. No, I didn't think so. Well, perhaps we could persuade you. We don't know anything. And if we did, we would tell you. Yes. Oh, really? Well, we'll see about that. Sit down and be quiet, young lady. Could you stop just standing there? Uh, well, those who comply. We really are brain dead. We're not running a daycare. Speak words. Those who comply will be rewarded, and those who resist will be treated as constipators. Conspirators! <laughs> right, uh, conspirators, so the insurrection will be dealt with accordingly. You have no choice but to comply. But really, there is no reason to resist. We want to work with you to root out the despicable traitors lurking among you. Gar, are you at least going to inform me of the rules and regulations of this prison? Oh, or must uh, I do everything around here myself? Sorry, sir. Um, <clears throat> right, uh, all guards and prison personnel are to be respected as your superiors. Is that right, Shelby? Yes. Yes. Sweet. We'll let our uh, de deviation. Right, uh, deviation. Huh? From restricted areas to the prison schedule is prohibited. Ah, 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 I'm sorry, I'm late to the party. Oh, as well as the blocks of property of the prison are to be respected. Are you easy? Knock it off, you buffoon. I'm not You act <laughs> private. <laughs> no one is allowed outside of the walls of a uh, Katniss Mortai. Katniss Mortai! Uh, oh, sorry, I was watching Hunger Games last night. Uh, uh, right. uh, watching uh, movies does not excuse stupid. <laughs> Takes one to know. <laughs> right, uh, the prison grounds are to be immaculately maintained. How is it the following rule? You will sit down and Dissension will no longer be tolerated. Why must I always be the bad guy? You are the bad guy! Sit down and shut up, you midget! Uh. <laughs> All questions, comments, and concerns should be submitted in writing in triplicate to the head of internal within 24 hours. Finish what you started! All right, uh, uh, all affectionate fraternizing among prisoners is uh, hereby permitted. <laughs>
Um, you disgust me. Yeah, I'm not going to explain that situation. Uh, do you need to go to the restroom? Do, do we need to excuse you? Yeah. It doesn't work like that, so. Uh. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, confiscated on site as property of the prison. Are you going to finish or must I punish you as well? No, that, that's all the rules. Surely you just let me see that. We have to regulate one. See, that's all of them. You forgot the most important rule. Which one? The clothing rule. We can't have these prisoners running around in their skivvies, can we? All right, you guys know the phrase, skies out, thighs out? My phrase is thighs out, eyes out. Huh? Yeah, ask your Aunt Larry what happened. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> All we really ask is for your compliance in fighting this insurrectionist, and then we will grant you your freedom. Tell them what happens when they fail. We will allow you 48 hours to produce results. Or that there's no too more legal. Lethal! <laughs> lethal? <laughs> that doesn't persuade you. Since you're still abused, to admit to your knowledge about the instructions whereabouts, we we'll forced to put you into hard labor tomorrow morning to discover the so called prophecies. You can't make us let us free! Yeah! Silence! We'll give you a little motivation then. You'll be divided into cells. The cell that helps us the most war in their freedom. Those who offer very little assistance, well, let's just say they'll receive their due. While we're at it, we'll judge your overall productivity in three areas. Why don't you inform them of these areas, Gar? First, we will judge you on your knowledge of the ancient scrolls. You must find and interpret them. Second, we will judge you on your skills and abilities that prove useful to the Empire in his service. And third... Three fingers, oh smart one. Third, we will judge you on your submission to the authorities. That's us. That's me. If you follow our rules and guidelines without hesitation, if you're always where you need to be when you must be there, if you exemplify the highest and most positive of spirits, it will be noted. However, I hardly believe we can trust them without some sort of organization. No. Wait, wait, Warden, I have an idea for I that. I guess there's a first time for everything proceed. What if... We appoint cell leaders, and we're accountable for everyone else, and we'll report back to those daily. <laughs> Horrible idea, let me think. What if we could appoint cell leaders whom we would hold accountable for everyone else that would report back to us daily? Yes, magnificent. Select like leaders from among them, please. Right. Oh, well, since this is a brand new idea, and I didn't presuppose. I had such a magnificent leaders. idea. It was so great. Cell leaders, get up here now! Hurry up! Quickly, quickly, come quickly. Really? We're gonna have plants in the prison because of you? Are you kidding me? Yeah, Malibu Barbie, I'm talking to you. Take these out for processing. All right, Scott, go walk this way. Let me see you wobble. This place is awful. They seriously just found a hole in the ground and stuck a gate over it. We have to do something. They can't just treat us like they're slaves. They have no right to hold us. But when we're here, like it or not. We have to do something, Spurious. If we refuse to help, they won't get what they want. We can storm the gates and break free. Be and patient. if they're not going to help us, I'll do it myself. Be patient. The resistance is growing. Their leader is the one the warden calls insurrectionist. Our deliverer, he'll come. How do you know that? The prophecies say will come in our greatest time of need, but you've obviously never read them. In our greatest time of need? Where was he when we were being rounded up like animals? If he is the deliverer, why hasn't he done it yet? They also say he'll come in the midst of our captivity. Uh, hello Decimus, we're in prison! Well, we're all just sitting here in prison, not leaving, just waiting for him to show up and save the day whenever he's ready. I know, I'm stuck here too. We can only hope the prophecies are true. <laughs> Maybe next time, you'll be a little more cooperative. Are you okay? This is exactly the injustice I was talking about. We have to get everyone out of here. No, no. I'll be fine. But you're right. We have to do something to help all these people. I'll gather everyone together, and we'll attack the guards immediately. We can bust out of here. No. You have to be patient. We're here for a reason. Are you saying they have a reason to imprison us without charge? Well, we just can't fight our way out of here. We just can't do nothing, can we? There is no need for violence now. I promise we'll do something. We won't watch all of our people suffer long in chains and bondage. So we have to fight. Freedom isn't always obtained by the sword. When the right moment arrives, we'll overcome. The right time is now. 
We must wait for the right moment to gain our freedom. <laughs> what is there to think about? We're all in prison in here, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. When we should be out there, right? Yeah. If we all storm the gates at once, how can they stop us? Oh, I don't know. Maybe with their weapons? I'm serious. I appreciate your willingness to fight. But we have to handle the situation carefully, or all of these people will get hurt in the process. That's it. I'm out of here. There's no way I'm dying for a lost cause. Spray. Spray. Look. These guards have no intention of giving us our freedom. They're just pawns of the emperor. Emperor. But I believe we will be free. Fellow prisoners. Friends. I assure you your situation is not going unnoticed. We will be free and these guards will pay for what they have done to you. Now it may take time, but do not lose hope. There is a way out. We'll find it together. Are you saying that we can all get out of here alive? I'm saying that there's a door. A door? A door? A door. A forgotten passage out of this prison. It's been covered up with rock and dirt over the years. But the prophecies speak of it, and we know that it's somewhere underneath this prison. We don't know the specific location, but if we start digging now, I think we can find it. Will you guys help me out? Yeah! Will you guys help me? Yeah! Then we're going to start digging right now. The first thing we're going to... Karen's Dismas! You two were chosen as cell leaders! What are you still doing here? We, um... We... We... Uh, we were... Lost? Lost. You got lost? I'm not lost. lost. It's a cave! There's one tunnel! Let's, are you kidding me? Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's just go! Idiots. Alright, prisoners! You have been assigned cells! Check your name tag for your cell number! Yeah, your number seven, Shelby. Let's go! Yeah, that's how you read. The one that looks like this is a seven. Well, in a second, you will go out to the prison grounds and meet your cell leaders. But for now, I'm going to show you a little clip of your cell leaders. Refer to the magic walls!
Oh. Thank you. Yes. We'll just go. We'll just go. Let's give it up for the guard. This is ridiculous! We run a very strict regimen here, not a summer camp. And if I can't trust the elite with their daily exercises, then what good are you to me? Probably not. I guess you got it about right. Prisoners, you have proved yourself useful in at least one way, but those among you who are the most skilled deserve an early release. To that end, we are hosting a skills assessment competition. This will be a demonstration of sorts of how you can use your skills and abilities to better the empire. And those who perform to our satisfaction will be rewarded. And the best room among you will be granted early release. Potentially. You know, Warden, I've got some pretty sick skills. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, like my nunchuck skills and my bow hunting skills. Oh. You can't up my cartwheels. Who's got skills? Yeah. Those poor, pitiful girls. These, these powerful, charming skills of yours have had absolutely no effect on me. You're a girl. Of course, I'm a girl. Oh, I can talk. I can talk. Guard. <laughs> uh, yes. Do these walls look a little dingy to you? A little bit, but kind of like your hair. Careful, she's the one of her boots. What's that supposed to mean? 
Does the dirt fire? Meaning dragon? Meaning. Uh, okay, that's awkward. <laughs> um, Toretta, what have we gotten ourselves into? Listen, at least now we have a reason to be here. That is until we find our brother. Plus, we have a free pass between these people in here and the resistance leader out there. Look at them. They need our help. I didn't even think of that. Speaking of needing help, look at this place. It's a pretty big cave, cave, cave. It's disgusting. It's a cave. They should have at least wiped it down or something. All these people are going to get the sniffles from all this foul, icky air, and then they'll die. <gasps> exactly. We're going to have to organize you all into cleaning and sanitizing groups so that everyone gather your cleaning supplies, OK? Um, Terena, look at these people. They are filthy. Do you think they're gonna have cleaning supplies? I mean, ew. Ew! Oh, look at that one. Look at Maya. Wow. Wow. You're right, you're right. They don't need a cleaning anyways. They need a total mix. Yeah, well, we better catch up with the guard because there is too much ew in one room. Let's go. Seriously, the reason they keep it so dark in here is so you can see the maggots and the bread. Seriously, who can't go to the heavy black party? Rouse the resistance! Tears at Toretta! And yes, we're surviving. Barely. And no, I haven't seen your brother. But ladies, please be careful not to mention my association with the resistance. Oh, how dreadful. But at least you're okay. And we brought food, of course. Oh, thank Well, we did have food until the guard ate it all. Oh, let me introduce you to Decimus. He's a fisherman from the coast. Tears up. This is my sister, Terena. We just got a job here cooking, so we're going to be here, like, daily. <laughs> you? Cooking? Oh, hush. Terena cooks. I pretend to hell. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> but for real, let us know if we can help you with anything. Thanks. I'll be sure to let Cavius know. Cavius? Who is Cavius? Yeah. He's a prisoner here with us. He's from my village. He knows things, like about a secret door or passageway that can get us out of here. He's just working on the details. Ooh, fantastic! That means that you have an escape plan? No, yeah. he thinks he has an escape plan. I'm not so sure. Cavius keeps talking about a door in the prophecies. Ladies, do you think you can reach the leader of the resistance and tell him about our situation here? I mean, we would love to help if we could. But, well, we haven't seen him around in a while. We think that he's gone somewhere out to the desert. But the group that he's with has done a great job avoiding capture so far, but the Emperor, she's hot on their trail. There's a lot going on out there, and it's all happening, you know, pretty quickly. But we'll let you know if we hear anything more. But, but for to... now, we have to report to our new jobs. Take care. But wait, but ladies, yes, we have Take one white. Care. This doesn't make sense. Take care. <laughs> If these ladies can reach the resistance leader, he'll help us. Well, you don't even know where he is. Cavius is here with us. He has a plan and he knows things like what well, that door's been talking about. He's our way out of here. Well, we have to keep our options open. No, you don't get it. I know Cavius. If he says he has a plan, he has a plan. We should just follow him. What if he's the resistance leader, you know, the one the warden calls that insurrectionist leader, the one they've been looking for right here under their nose? No. Did you say insurrection? Oh, no, 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 he didn't. Houses just like this place. We love it here. What are you talking about? We hate it here. And the walls, they're nice and rocky, nice and solid, and possible to dig through. But we're barely being fed. And the food, it practically grows in the dark. There's plenty of extra protein lying around. Look, here's some now. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but they're holding our entire village here. And all of our friends are here. Yeah, every single one of them. And plus it's always cool and air conditioned. More like dark and cold, death must just let it go. <sighs> Today, you did a good job in collecting the scrolls. 
And now he must help us interpret them. So Tears and Dorita, come out and leave them in the scroll search. Hurry up! Decimus Furious! Decimus Cabins! I need to clean this up right now! Before the one gets back and better than spotless. <laughs> ten years! I mean, ten years I've been a guard of this prison, and I still have no tenure. I get stuck with a warden like her. I mean, I mean, she. Who even knew she was a girl? I mean, have you seen her hair? I mean, she she smells like a middle school boy after opening a prison. Yeah, I smelled you today. It was disgusting. I mean, she's she's so disgusting. She probably even eats with her toes. She's 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 mean. She's mean. And she's evil. And she's evil. And she's so bumpy. And she's so bumpy. And she's right behind you. She's right behind me. And stunningly you. And stunningly. What the uh, is going on here? Oh, say so yeah, I was just cleaning up. We'll discuss your behavior in a moment. Prisoners, how are you doing tonight? That was that was kind of lame. Let's try that again. How are you doing tonight? Today, cell one. Did cell one win? Yes. Okay. If you're from cell one and you participated, please come down front. Please, only if you participated in ultimate frisbee. Everyone, give them a round of applause. All right. Guard, right. could you please give them their award? Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Free soon? What kind of fool do you take me for? If I possibly had the instructions chained to the wall, or would 
these useless peasants would tell me something of value, then maybe. But as it is, I have no one to blame for the uprisings, and not a single one of them is giving me what I need. They can all die here for all I care. Wait, wait, does that mean they're not going free? Glad to see you're finally catching on. <laughs> Uh, I'm so fed up with this cave. Are you guys? Yeah! We gotta get out of here. Yeah. Between me and you, I, I just I just don't think Cavie's plan is really working. If we stay here much longer, things are gonna get much, much worse for us. What about the resistance leader the cooks were talking about? Maybe I could talk to him. I really wish I could just meet him and, and just figure out what he's planning. Today we have to clean and mop and sometimes anything and everything. Okay. Hey, is something the matter? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just confused. I'm always confused. What are you confused about? Do you really want to know? No, not really. Well, you see, Cavius was talking big like we were going to conquer the world together once we busted out of here. But I just don't know if I can believe him. Didn't you guys mention something about a resistance forming or like some kind of resistance leader? Um, I, I just really wish I could meet him. I, but I don't even know if he ex exists or where I would even find him. That certainly does sound like a long list of confusion. Yeah, yeah tell me about it. I just really need to find the leader of the resistance. Uh, well, you'd have to sneak out somehow. I have an idea. We can carry him out in our basket. Uh, Terena, let's be reasonable. <gasps> Wait, I have an idea. No, no, no. Yeah, I have an idea. It's really good. Okay, what if you and I switch places like just for a day? You can wear my dress and sneak out of here and go find them. supposed to look like you. Well, you're gonna have to walk shorter. A little more. Have you seen me? There we go. Alright, you're gonna have to not talk and uh, wear a scarf, but it can totally work. Tears up, no. I mean, what if they try to talk to him? And Justice, what if they realize you're not here? We're gonna get into a lot of trouble. Will you stop freaking out? It is brilliant, right guys?
or anyone sees you for that matter. Yeah, last we heard they were headed to the North Hill. The North Hill. So you should go there. Um, I don't know if I can pretend to be a lady for a long without getting caught. You're right, you can. So you need to go to our brother's house. You know where it is. There, you can switch clothes with Tirza, and we'll be there soon. Now go on and good luck. Take care. Um, excuse me, the walk? There we go. Come on, lady. Come, come on, come on. Come on, I mean... I have a bad feeling about this, sister. Sister? Did you just call him sister? No, I said I have a bad blister, see? Um, um, about that, uh... Even with the blister, Tara, you're still a prettier than your own. Yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, um, right, uh, well, Tarina, I've been looking for you. I have to tell you something. Uh, me what? Um, well, yesterday you were in the kitchen and you were making those delicious brownies and, and, and you looked good. I mean, uh, you uh -oh. looked good. You cooked up everything. Conversation. 
nachos. <laughs> you come with me, and I'm leaving you in charge. Don't disappoint me. Um, 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 um. Citizens of the Empire! Hello, Eric and Tennis Boys, and tonight we would like to produce the talented among you to remind you that your skills are useful to the Empire and his service. Tonight, like I said, we would like to show you that. Remember, there's no flash photography, flash videoing. No flashes, not allowed tonight. And with that, I mean, who cares? The warden's not here. Let's have a celebration. Yeah! First of all, tonight, we would like to do some judges first. First off, Peyton Perry. check on things and make sure that I can get out. Once I do, I'll get to my army and I'll be back in three days time to free you. Does that sound like good? Does that sound good? All right. I need you guys to make a lot of noise so you can cover my tracks. Can you guys do that for me? Awesome. I'll be back when the coast is clear. Thanks for your, 
help girls, but you, you can go now. Uh, that's, uh, I'll tell you how it, oh, okay, that's not choreographed. Okay. Apparently the girls have some supporters in the back that, okay. Um, but, guys, guys, do you think those are gonna work? First one, um, hey, my name is Stan, I mean, we got, I mean, uh, on to the next act. Uh, <laughs> Alright guys, let's give it up for that last act. I mean, I think I could do some of that. Or not. Uh, no, listen, we have found the door. It is the door out of the prison. Give yourselves a hand, you guys finally found it. Listen, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna get to my army, and I'm gonna be back in three days' time. But what I need you guys to do tomorrow, I need you guys to go along with everything the guards tell you. Can you do that? They cannot find out about this plan. I'm leaving you guys responsible. Can you help me? Alright, guys, I'll be back in three days to free you. They, I mean, wow, like, this, uh, hey, hold on one second, uh, hey, uh, Tar Taruna, I, I just, I've been looking for you. Uh, okay. Uh, I found you. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that you, you look pretty good, I mean, my name is, uh, Will, I think. Awesome, yeah. Um, I, I read your note, oh. and um, I just wanted to tell you that it um, it was a bit um, yeah uh, lengthy. That's because no fewer words can express my dying love for you. Yeah, um, you can try. Um, I just met you yesterday, and although I know nothing about you but your name and what your brownies taste like, I would love to get to know you more. There. One sentence. I mean, I guess, I guess I did ramble a little bit. Just a bit. I mean, Plus, I don't think the warden would have liked you to be with such a, you know, lowly cook like myself. But she's not here. What's it matter? I'm not, not here, you say? On a night like this with such a big, you know, skill assessment going on, don't you think that seems a, lit, a bit irresponsible? I mean, she has a good reason. The prisoner got a death mission. He escaped, so she's gonna follow him in hopes of finding the insurrection, you know. Uh, yeah. Since I'm a man to man like myself, and second in charge, she left me in command. Mm -hmm. She gives me jobs like this all the time. Uh, I can only imagine. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. But I've gotta get to the bottom of this. I gotta keep digging. Digging? I mean, uh, digging? Yeah. Uh, let's say if you were a prisoner in a prison, how, how would you escape? Well, I can tell you what I wouldn't do. I would not wear a disguise or take a tunnel. Really? I know nothing. Are you sure you know nothing? Well, I mean, we have more time for the next act if you want to go hang out. I mean... Well, actually... <coughs> <coughs> actually, uh, she took me up on uh, my offer to accompany her to tonight's uh, festivities. Hard to pass up, especially with such a <laughs> manly man like myself. It's true, it's true. I, I just didn't know how to tell you, you see. You would be seen in public with a guy like him? I mean, he has fleas and walks like a girl! You make her hurt! You both be sweet! He can't take the hit! You wanna get me? Gentlemen, please! Tarina, I will see to your wishes, but nevertheless, I prepared for you a skill of my own this evening. You have a skill? I can kill! Be civil! Alright, Tarina, my sweet lady, I will be back. With the musical treats. Thanks, Tirza. I mean, I guess that's what sisters are for, right? Pretending to be your date. How did I do? I think you may be the best act tonight. <gasps> did you read my note about the warden following Decimus? I did! He's gonna lead the warden right to the resistance leader! What are we gonna do? I don't know. I just knew this was gonna end badly. So we have to come up with a plan, okay? Okay, all right, let's, let's think. Think.
I got you a little man, man. I, I got you a little plan, and maybe we can make it look like she stepped up to stop the emperor. Now hurry up, go! Come on! Quit crying, Kylie! Stand gonna kill me! On the next lap!
will be executed, preparing for execution. No! What happened to Deliverer? 
Someone must have followed me out of the prison. As soon as I left, they captured him. Did you see him? Did they bring him here? Decimus, he's dead. He was arrested and then he was executed. Wait, what? The deliverer is dead? Yeah, they put his body in his cell. But now his body is missing. Dead? He was supposed to be our hope. He was a deliverer. How could this happen? How could God let this happen? We thought they were going to release him, but they released Cavius instead. They executed Wait, what? The warden released Cavius? Why? This part of the kingdom is going to be in well. Last night, Sam's going to escape the prison and come back with an army three days later to save us all. Oh, he's gone, all right. He broke out, and he is not coming back. No, it, it all makes sense now. I saw him sneaking around town, telling everyone that he busted out of prison and that he was going to get as far away from here as he could. He didn't care about any of us. He is not coming back. He was going to try to help us. No, he wasn't. Do you even know who he is? His name is Cavius Barabbas. He is a criminal, a murderer, a thug. He and his little band were raiding the emperor's outpost in disguise of helping the villages when all they were really doing was stealing and robbing everyone. It was his plan from the very beginning to have us do his digging for him so he could escape. He has no army and he is not coming back. I have been searching and searching in the scrolls, and I just don't understand what I'm reading. It says here the deliverer was supposed to rescue us, but he died. It also says he died for our sake, but why? I, I just don't understand, but it doesn't matter now. He's dead, and we just have to move on. I'm afraid we are all at the emperor's no, mercy. No, no, no. Are you sure it was him or were you just seeing things? He's alive. Yeah, ladies. I have to see this with my own eyes to believe it. If he is alive, then that changes everything. It's true, Decimus. It's all in the scrolls, just like he told us. He came to this prison to free us from death and the grave. It's true. He freed us from death, the worst enemy of all. He died so that we could live. I just don't know. It's, it's all so confusing. We must have missed something in the scrolls. Maybe there's something in this last message we're trying to decipher today that can help us. And if we do not get out of here tonight, we will all die. No, we're not. He's alive. He's alive. Friends, He's alive. friends, take heart. Because they can take our lives, but they can never take our freedom! We will try to save as many people as possible and trust that Jesus will show up to save us. Now I have to go get ready. Everyone, be ready. Guys, he's alive. We saw him alive. We did. We saw him alive. What are you cell leaders doing here? No, Jesus, over there. I need you two to run this Bible quiz, or we will all be dead by nightfall if we're not figure out this last person. Jesus, come back. No. Lead it, Torilla. Okay, guys.
You'll be dragged in front of courts, turned over to rulers, and you will face all kinds of per persecution for my name's sake. In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, for I have already overcome the world. Will we see you again? All of you will see me again. But it is not for you to know the time nor the season that the Father has fixed by his own authority. Once this news, repentance, and the forgiveness of sins reaches all nations, then I will return for you. Master has said, This prison and these chains no longer have control over us. Jesus is alive and we are free. Our mission is clear. We are to take the good news to the ends of the earth. You should be willing to boldly sacrifice so that others may live. said to them, Oh, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up the cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for me will save it. Lord, send us! Lord, send me!
warden and guard represented the Jewish high priest and temple guard who enforced the will of Rome for their own self-preservation and private wealth. Spurius represented Judas Iscariot. He sought liberty by betrayal. He secretly used information to gain favor with the warden, information that led to the arrest of Jesus. Decimus is Simon the Zealot. He began as a follower of Cavius, who hoped to get free from the tyranny of Rome by fighting his way out. He lost faith in Cavius and turned to the deliverer, Jesus. Cavius represented Barabbas. He was an insider among the people who sought liberty through rebellion. He used people, pretending to help others as a cover to obtain his own liberty, abandoning those who trusted him to help. Tirza and Tara, or Mary and Martha, friends of Decimus who helped him turn to Jesus, the real source of freedom. The Deliverer, also called the Insurrectionist, was Jesus, who was the only one who could set us free. He came from outside our world to enter into our prison and free us at the cost of his own life. The Prisoners represents all of us who are chained to sin and the world, unable to free ourselves from its tyranny. The spirit of tyranny never dies. Just as the people in this drama lived under the rule of tyranny, that same tyranny thrives today in many forms. Likewise, the spirit of rebellion that motivated Cavius, who is Barabbas, to sacrifice other people for his own advantage lives in us all. In a sense, we are all Barabbas. We seek to liberate ourselves from all authority and elevate ourselves at the expense of others. The scroll merits represented our knowledge of scripture. The prophecies led us to truth, to Christ, just as it did with Mary and Martha and the disciples on the road to Emmaus. But once we have been set free, we are duty bound to take the truth, Jesus, to others, even at the expense of our own comfort and safety. In essence, once free, we must deny ourselves so that others may be free. The submission merits represented authority. We are to submit to our authorities, even ungodly ones, until their decrees counter the ultimate authority of the scriptures. Some believers throughout history have been martyred because they could no longer obey human authorities who set themselves against God and the truth revealed in scripture. Just as they, we too must take up our cross. The skill merits represented our abilities that God has given us to enable us to share the truth of his word and hope of deliverance with the whole world. Though many use their God-given skills and talents to gain advantage and prestige for themselves, God has given each of us skills that are to be used to draw the attention of others to his love and forgiveness. That is what it means to follow me. We follow him into the midst of hopelessness, even at the risk of our own lives, to bring hope to others through the gospel. What has chained you down and imprisons you? What keeps you from sharing this powerful hope with others? What will it take for you to be unchained? unchained.